Hi you guys, it's Wendy coming to you with a project share. This particular journal um, predominant features are lots of use of pink, I did lots of sewing elements, uh, and then I tried to incorporate materials that were given to me that I was supposed to incorporate like photos, so you'll see some of those. Um, the cover itself is made out of some altered pattern paper. That's kind of my background here. I've got several layers of fabric, some measuring tape, I've got this lace sticker here, and an image that is basically a cross stitch. And then my tassel here has got some uh, these pearls I was asked to integrate. And then of course I've got a bunch of different materials and ribbons and rickrack and so on. So inside, we have a, I've made a file folder essentially and covered it with fabric. And so if you flip that open, you can put things in there. Uh, we've got this really beautiful image of the little girl sewing. And on the other side, I guess this is a little boy, I'm not sure. Um, some pretty scrapbook papers, a little pocket I've created. I tried to use little odds and ends like these seam binding um, packaging. Uh, here's a photo of their dog. Little tag that's got some buttons and ribbons and things. And then of course the paper looks like tulle. And lots of just little tiny elements, you know, like these, um, these little cutouts that I've made here. Um, lots of photos included here. Lots of space to write. Here's another pocket. Uh, very old Sears Roebuck images of sewing machines. Some envelopes for putting things in. It's really pretty satin paper. Little tag that's got some lace on it. Another photo I've included. Um, this is actually a pocket, so you could put things in there. Uh, she has a really beautiful daughter-in-law, obviously a really beautiful family. Um, so those were fun to work with. Here we have the quilted paper. Um, just lots of papers that I've pulled. This was another element um, that was included for me to work with, so I included just a little bit of that. Lots of texture in this one. Lots of places to write. So little images I've cut out of my crafty magazines, envelopes. Uh, among the things that I was asked to use was um, a book on German Shepherds. And so I turned those, I chose the black and white images so it wouldn't kind of mess with my color scheme too much and then made them into journaling places. This is a pocket. Uh, lots of planner pages in here for writing. There's another picture of a cute little dog. Another pocket. It's cute little ATC. Uh, this has a real thread on it, of course, and then these buttons. Um, got some packaging from what looks like maybe, oh, some seam tape. These teacups. Another cute picture of their dog. Um, here I took some tissue paper and crumpled it up and um, put it over the page here. This came from one of my crafty magazines and has the cupcake and the uh, teacup and the spoon sewn. I thought that was really cute. Uh, the cute little dog which I turned into a journaling spot. Lots of blue and pink. Here's another element that she asked me to include. I did finally, um, after getting an Amazon gift card from my workplace, I did finally actually purchase a sewing machine. I just haven't gotten around to getting it set up and getting the hang of it yet. Um, so eventually I will be utilizing that. Here's another, you know, there's a, a cute little family if you've ever seen one. Here's some stitches and a card that fall, folds out for writing. Uh, we have an old vintage birthday card um, that folds out for writing and it actually folds up 
as well. It's a cute little vintage couple. And then ATC that has um, stitching on the side. I thought that was fun. We have a Modigliani um, painting. A little pocket that I've created. Uh, this was an element that she asked that I include, and it's just a book of quotes. I think I've seen it at the Dollar Tree. So I included that. Here's a pattern for a felt coat. A cute little list pad. This folds out for journaling purposes. Some pretty scrapbook paper. Um, a pocket. Um, again, some more Sears Roebuck sewing machine pages. Just lots of places to write, lots of places, of course, to include photos and memorabilia. It's a pretty napkin. Um, threading a needle. Just lots of blue and pink. Here's a card that folds up for writing. It's another family photo. This ATC. And this is a piece of wallpaper, some sheet music, yeah, just lots of scrapbook papers, lots of places for writing and tuck spots. Tried to alternate between the blue and the pink. Little pocket here with a journaling card, a cute vintage image. And on the back page, I went ahead and used this upholstery sample. Um, the back is also, um, I think it's a wallpaper sample, but I went ahead and used the outside because it's got kind of a textured, I don't know if you can see it, a textured thread type, material type vibe. Uh, so I made that the front and back cover materials and then ended with a picture of their dog. So anyway, left the back alone. It's a fat little thing, <laughs> um, probably two inches at the base, um, maybe four inches. Definitely would wanna just display it kind of standing up. You can see it kind of splays out and has its little alligator mouth. Um, otherwise, you could get one of the little Dollar Tree elastic hair bands put around it, and there's tons of space still, assuming that you kind of keep it closed to include photos um, pieces of paper, ephemera, uh, just things from daily life. So hopefully the recipient will like what I did with this. Um, and I will be back when I have another journal to film. Hopefully you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.